Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Orioles versus Red Sox Major League Baseball matchup on Friday, August 16, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks. Go to PickDogs.com, click on that premium picks tab. I've also got a link below in the description. If you make bigger bets, 1000 or more per game, you got like a $10,000 plus bankroll, by all means, just text the number you see on the screen for our VIP pack and just find out all about it. Certainly not for everyone, but our regular premium picks, we do have something for everyone. And of course, at PickDogs.com, more free picks than anybody else out there. But let's get to it. We've got the Orioles taking on the Red Sox, Camden Yards, and the Orioles in a tough spot here as they have fallen out of first place in the American League East, battling it out with the Yankees atop the AL East, and the Boston Red Sox battling it out for a wild card spot, sitting in that number four position in the American League, and what number four means, it means not in the playoffs, so it's they need to catch the Royals or the Twins or both get into better position. They're certainly within striking distance, but the issue that the Red Sox have is that um, while they just sit a game behind the Royals, is that the Seattle Mariners are coming on strong right behind them. And while the Tampa Bay Rays are five behind them in the loss column, eh, you can never really count those guys out either. But I think, you know, for all intents and purposes, it's the Mariners, the Red Sox, the Royals, the Twins, and right now the Orioles who are fighting it out actually for the, with the Yankees on top of the American League East. Of course, very important to win that American League East as opposed to being a wild card team. Last year, the Orioles were a wild card team. They hosted a wild card round. They got swept out of town in their own building by the eventual World Series champion, Texas Rangers. Boy, you avoid that first playoff round. You get into it. You know, you get into a, a longer series. You get into a normal type series. You have a lot better chance than that three game. You know, you lose those first two, and it's all over. This is a must win for the Orioles as they send Corbin Burns to the mound. Of course, he is the ace of the staff, one of the top pitchers in all of baseball. He has just been a very tough customer once again. Last time out, though, he allowed three runs against against the Rays. It didn't matter. He got the win. Prior to that, four runs allowed against the Guardians. Didn't matter. He got the run support. He has not been at the top of his game. But how can you complain to get with a guy with a 2.71 ERA? He's allowed 16 home runs this season, 35 walks. And he struck out 137 over 149 in two-thirds innings of work. But actually, that 137 is way low for Burns, who's, you know, his lowest total was last year at 200 strikeouts for the season. The year before that, 243. And the year before that, 234. So, you know, at at 137, his strikeout numbers are going down with 40 games left to play. I don't think he hits that 200 mark. It's going to be close. When we look at his his ERA over his last three starts, it's 4.58. We look at the way these teams are hitting the baseball coming into this one. The Red Sox have been hitting the ball fairly well overall. I think that when you watch the games on TV, as opposed to just looking at the statistics, what you see from the Red Sox is super aggressive at the plate. And while you look overall for the season, 253 for the Orioles and 259 for the Red Sox. Over the last 10, 276 for the Orioles and 256 for the Red Sox. And over the last five, 284 for the Orioles and 249 for the Red Sox. I find those numbers a little bit deceiving because I think the, the Red Sox even though they haven't been hitting as a, as high of an average, they certainly have been making solid contact. And I'll tell you what, they've been able to put those those hits together in meaningful ways. I think this game is going to be a lot more competitive than people think, but it's tough to go against Corbin Burns at home. I always hate those prices on Burns, and it kind of makes me lean to go the other side, and especially with that Orioles bullpen, which I despise. I'll tell you what, though, I'm going to have to go with the Orioles here, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.